Did you know that jellyfish have been around for over 650 million years? That's older than dinosaurs. These amazing creatures don't even have a brain, and yet they've been able to survive and adapt to many different environments. However, they do like stability. So today we're going to talk about filling and cycling your aquarium. To start out, we got to mix salt water. Now this is the same as just aquarium water that you would have in a freshwater tank. However, we do add salt to it. And it's highly advised to use reverse osmosis water just to make sure that it's pure and you're not putting any imperfections or contaminants into your system. Now each salt is different, but on average a five gallon bucket uses about two and a half cups of salt. Once you have it mixed up, you'll check it with what's called a hydrometer. Now most kits come with these. And all you do is pour water in it and you let it sit and wait and see where the needle balances out. Now these can be a little bit finicky because if air bubbles attached to it, it can play with it. So you want to give it a few taps and just let it sit for a minute and see where it levels out. Now if you're serious about the saltwater hobby, I would recommend picking up a refractometer as they're much more accurate and they're fairly quick and easy to use. Just put a couple drops of water on it, hold up to light, and I can tell I'm at 1.021 and that's just about perfect. Now with jellyfish, they like 1.020 to 1.024, so make sure you stick within that range. So we know our water's good, we're gonna add it to the aquarium. Like the hydrometer, Jellyfish Art provided Jelly Biostarter with their kit, which is a nitrifying bacteria that helps cycle your tank quicker. So to use this, all you do is put in two capfuls per gallon. So in this case, the Jellyfish Art Nano Tank, we put in two capfuls in the back. And it says to do this two weeks before you get your jellyfish. So I would advise cycling your tank for three to four weeks, just to make sure it's a safe place for your jellyfish. Now, if you have a tank other than the Jellyfish Art one, there's a couple other nitrifying bacteria on the market called Biospira or Dr. Tim's One and Only, which work quite well. The back chamber of the tank has a giant sponge filter, which acts as a place for all the bacteria to grow and harvest. However, if you already have a marine tank or you know somebody with one, I would recommend getting a couple chunks of live rock or a few little chunks of ceramic media. It's gonna give you a huge boost on bacteria area. In my tank, I took a couple of marine fruit balls and broke them up. I also let these sit in my main tank for about a month before I added the jellyfish. So there's tons of time for it to colonize with beneficial bacteria. So drop that in. And what else we're gonna use in the back of the tank is called Chemipure Blue. It's these little packets of carbon and it's gonna help keep your water nice and crystal clear and absorb any contaminants. I strongly advise you guys wait three or four weeks before ordering your jellyfish. We wanna make sure your nitrogen cycle has completed and there's no ammonia left in the tank. Any ammonia can be very toxic to jellyfish and I wanna ensure that you guys have long-term success with your jellies. Now, if you want to learn more about the nitrogen cycle, be sure to check out this video for a more detailed explanation on how the whole cycle works. Otherwise, hit that like button and subscribe so you can keep up to date for next week's video on acclimating the jellyfish and getting that smack into the tank. The jelly wave, jellyfish.